What if you called your senator or representative to complain about, uh, you know, Trump or impeaching Trump or what happened in the Capitol, and they were to say, oh, no, we support Trump. We're, we're with those people. How do we address a seditious senator? Check it out. Leave your comments. Ding the bell. Share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. What's up? Well, I was wondering how would I go about addressing my seditious senator, Josh Hawley, um, you know, everybody uh, should be senators to, you know, let them know that they want the 25th Amendment invoked or whatever. But how do you address a seditious senator? You contact the Democratic Party in Missouri and you say, okay. what can I do to help get Josh Hawley unelected? OK, because that's that's going to be, you know, I mean, there, there's nothing that, that you can do individually to to convince Josh Hawley to change his mind. Josh Hawley is an, an ambitious, uh, I'm guessing, psychopath, a person who thinks he's the center of the universe, who has no empathy and no understanding, doesn't care about his country or anything other than his own his own advancement. I, I, I think he made that eminently clear yesterday. And so uh, right now, short of I mean, the other thing you could do is you could contact um, everybody in leadership, and that would be in the Senate at the very least. It would be uh, Chuck Schumer um, in the House. Well, it, it should be in the Senate. It would be basically Chuck Sch contact Chuck Schumer and say that uh, you think that uh, Josh Hawley, as a Missourian, that, as a citizen of Missouri, you think that Josh Hawley should be at the very least censured and perhaps expelled from the Senate for what he did. Okay, but, thanks. But the, I will you know, do the, that. What's the old saying? You know, revenge is the yeah. Uh, uh, you know, uh, winning is the best revenge. Um, the number one thing to do if you if since you live in Missouri and he he's your senator is to contact the Missouri Democratic Party and and say I you know I, I will knock on doors I will make phone calls I will stuff envelopes, uh, you know I'll do whatever I can, um, you know help us find a good candidate to to replace Josh Hawley and let's let's get moving. And, uh, you know, and frankly, I think that the reason that Claire McCaskill lost that seat to jo Josh Hawley is because she had been, quote, one of the centrist senators. She had been one of those people who was always trying to, um, uh, you know, slice the, cut the baby down the middle to, to, to be nice and friendly with the Republicans and go along to get along and, and you know, opposing radical things like Medicare for all. And, and frankly, I think that if the Democratic Party were to put up a, a real progressive against Josh Hawley, because, you know, obviously this is a base uh, election, you know, going on, then uh, Missouri would end up with a, with a Democratic senator. So I, I would carry that message to the local Democratic Party, too. Does that make sense, Marianne? Yes, <clears throat> yes it does. Thanks for your input. I will act on it. Okay, great. Let me know. Okay, give us a call back and let us know how it works out. Um, and, will do. And, and thank you, Marianne. Okay, great, great, talk, great talking with you. I mean, this is this is what we need to be doing, right? I mean, certainly there's enough outrage in the moment, and you know, certainly, uh, you know, yes, Chuck Schumer, uh, you know, they, this is uh, he said uh, uh, he said the quickest and most effective way it can be done uh, to remove this president from office would be to immediately invoke the Twenty Fifth Amendment. If the Vice President and Cabinet refuse to stand up, Congress should impeach the president. This is what Chuck Schumer said. Well, you know what? You think you don't have agency?